It's the number one problem facing public health scientists for the last 30 years. I'm talking about the eradication of measles. It sounds easy, right? After all, there's a vaccine against measles. Well, it should make it easy. But in fact, it makes it very, very difficult. When people start to spread rumors that a vaccine causes autism, people tend to stop vaccinating. This is called a vaccine scare. And the result is a pocket of people left susceptible to measles who are likely to transmit the infection between one another. That's exactly what happened in California in 2014. December and the following January saw 110 new cases of measles after an outbreak in Disneyland. Preventing these sorts of epidemics begins with predicting vaccine scares. If we can predict when a scare will happen, we can try to prevent it. If we succeed, people will continue to vaccinate and there will be fewer cases of measles. So the question becomes, how can we predict when a vaccine scare might happen? Well, I'm proud to say I've been working on methods to do exactly that. And I use three simple tools, Twitter, artificial intelligence, and mathematics. People love to talk about their opinions and beliefs over social media like Twitter. We scoop up all the tweets that mention measles, and then using machine learning, a form of artificial intelligence, we can determine which tweets display a negative sentiment. Our mathematical model tells us that as a vaccine scare draws nearer, we should see an increase in the autocorrelation of tweets with negative sentiment. Autocorrelation is an indicator of a predictive relationship. And so an increase in autocorrelation means that the pattern we're seeing is not random and that there might be some hidden cause. Perhaps Jenny McCarthy has gone on to Good Morning America and has recently proclaimed that vaccines cause autism. So if we can calculate the autocorrelation on the number of tweets that display a negative sentiment and we see an increase, that means that fear is increasing and that a vaccine scare is likely to occur. We tested this method on a body of tweets ranging from mid-2012 to early 2015 just capturing that epidemic in California. And what we see is a clear increase in the autocorrelation, leading up to the outbreak and well into January, until the Center for Disease Control releases a public health advisory notice. My work brings together mathematicians and public health scientists, not for the first time and certainly not for the last, but for what could be a landmark achievement in public health. Furthermore, these, me these methods are not unique to measles. They can be used for rubella, for mumps, for pertussis, any vaccine preventable disease that is subject to a vaccine scare. The results of my research might mean that the previous vaccine scare is the last vaccine scare. Thank you.